What up, Matt? How you doing? Welcome back. Dude, Matt, go get a beer or, you know, if you prefer wine, Mr. Mr. You know, French or what do they drink in Lebanon? I don't know. What's a good? Oh, in fact, yeah, dude. What's a good Lebanese drink? What do Lebanese people drink? Do you guys have good beer? Do you guys have some weird? I don't know something. Iraq? What's Iraq? Aglid. Okay, so that's how we pronounce it. Oh shit, we're uh, okay. So Iraq is a traditional drink. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang. On. <laughs> okay, so let's get into these games. Let's get into these games. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We, <laughs> can we bet points? Yes, yes, yes. Hang on. Trust. I'll do. Um, here in just a minute, I'll put together predictions. Don't let me forget. But they're waiting for me, so let's just get this going, okay? <clears throat> okay, so game one, Grand Monster against Shadow Facts. Do I have my little scoreboard ready to go? I do. He is number one. Awesome. Here we go, people. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Boom. Okay, we have Boom, Grand Monster in the blue, playing Ra. Very interesting for um, Savannah, very interesting. And then Shadow Facts, aka No Mercy, in the red, playing um, Zeus. Ta-da, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, okay, so interesting stuff. Um, me personally, I don't like, I'm very surprised that um, your Uber Eats is at the door. <laughs> oh, well, you better hurry, uh, Mr. I don't even know how to say your name, dude. Anyway, so I'm, I'm a little surprised at the raw pick. In my opinion, um, especially on vanilla, raw on Savannah, it can be pretty sketchy because it's very unlikely that you're gonna get a defensive, or it's your gold mines, your second gold mines are gonna be um, usually gonna be pretty exposed. So I'm, I'm a little bit surprised here. Um, I'm sure he's, you know, Grand Monster probably expected Shadowfax, Ori to go, um, to go Greek, Zeus. He saw, um, he saw him pick that against Berserker earlier, so, you know, not, not, no surprise there that, you know, Shadowfax ended up going up, ended up going for Zeus, Greek specifically. Anyways, um, so, Ra against Greek in this matchup, I mean, the classical fight is definitely possible, but... I don't know with restoration is can be really nice for a fight oh that's right and that's right that's right let me set up some predictions real quick okay we'll do it for 30 seconds 30 seconds get your predictions in if you want to 30 seconds um, anyways, so, yeah, so since, uh, since Ra does not have an offensive god power, something like Ancestors, something, you know, I don't know, something like that, it's pretty difficult, especially on vanilla, for Ra to, um, to get control of a gold mine. Or rather, it's a lot more likely, it's a lot easier for, you know, um, for, if you're playing against Ra, to get some... Oh! <laughs> so you can have the instant replay. You have to be able to go back and see that. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's a second rhino. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. Oh. 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 Okay. 
Okay, 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 okay. Oh! Okay, hang on. Uglied, I did the bets. You should be able to see them. Or if you missed it, I only did it for 30 seconds since the game already started. So you might have missed game number one. Oh my god! Okay, so here's the thing. For those of you guys that have no idea what happened. Um, in vanilla, there still exists the bug that you can delete hunt by building a building on top of the animal. Right? And so, did you see right there, if somebody clipped it, again, go back and you can see the rerun, the replay, if somebody clipped that, but, um, yeah, so, Grand Monster tried to build. Thanks, Dark, dude, thanks, man. The, cheers to you. Hey, this is for you, Dark. Delicious. Very delicious. Okay, okay, but hang on, but hang on, hang on, hang on. So let me get through this, let me get through this. Okay, so he built a couple of granaries there. The little, um, to try and do a little ghost build and make the rhino run around, right? To protect his villagers, right? But the second one, the second one didn't start building. And that's where the rhino died. And so his villager finally started building it. And the rhino died just at the wrong moment that it died and his villager started building it. So it deleted the rhino. <sighs> I'm sweating. Oh my god. Okay, of all the god feels bad man. No fucking joke. Of all the gods for that to happen to, Ra can still survive because he can put a bunch of villagers onto gold, drop a bunch of farms, use rain, and still survive, right? You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. And he's going for the classical fight. No big surprise there. He's not. He's gonna have a shitty heroic time if he tries to go heroic. Oh my god! You were never a fan of that micro, dude. It's super sick, but he should have. He he needed to start it before he started shooting the rhino. Oh my god! This is crazy. This is crazy. Oh, by the way, Dark, did you hear that? You're my hero. That's Simone. That's Puma's voice. <laughs> That's Puma's voice, dude. <laughs> Whatever, anyways, I can't believe that. Is classical fighting any good? It's possible, dude, it's possible. It's different on vanilla compared to um, uh, the expansions because there's no second town centers, right? In classical age, rather. So it's doable, but like I was kind of saying before, Greek against um, a, raw, a raw classical fight against Greek, it's not that great. Um, I mean, he went up through, did he go up through Ta? I'm pretty sure he went up through Ta. Yeah, he did. So he does get a couple of upgrades for like for his spears and whatnot, but um, you know, it's not like it's not very strong. The reason why it's not very strong against Zeus is because Zeus can go Athena and get restoration. Um, oh, did he actually get uh, Shadoof? He got Shadoof. Okay, so he dropped a bunch of farms with Shadoof, so they were cheaper. Okay. Um, anyway, so since Zeus can go restoration or sorry, Athena, and get Restoration. He can take a sketchy fight and win it. Um, you know, classical fight can be scary because these little units, there's so many of them, right? Potentially, there's so many of them. So you have the stronger Greek units versus the weaker the weaker numbers, but the, you know, the stronger Greek units anyway. So you can take a really crucial fight with Restoration on like a second gold mine or something like that, right? Which would be, which would be huge. Um, so it's it, it really kind of depends um, Classical fighting against Zeus is a different story compared to Poseidon for example Poseidon doesn't get restoration Hades does um, But yeah, so grand monster is gonna be he's gonna his butthole is probably puckering right now because this is likely the next gold mine He's going for you know pretty close to his classical buildings or his military his barracks you know, cl Close ish to his tower right there he could probably go for this uh, gold mine as a second gold mine. Looking at his other gold mines, they're not good at all. Grand Monster does not have good gold mines. And speaking of not good gold mines, Shadowfax, hang on, hang on, Dark. Shadowfax, no mercy. He does not. He is not ready for a spear spam. Are you kidding me? Look at this. He built. 
two stables, he's not ready for a spear spam. Odysseus can do some serious damage against all these spears and soak up a lot of damage, but still, he's, I mean, I don't think he's going to lose a bill here, maybe, but probably not losing a bill, but he's getting kicked off his hunt here. He's, oh, build, uh, vill kill here. Uh, I mean, these vills are sketchy. That one's low. He has low HP vills over there. He is not ready for this. There is, oh, he does have an archer main job. Okay, so that's, okay, 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 okay. But still, sketchy, sketchy, sketchy. So nice, nice little, little bit of recovery here from Grand Monster. Getting the little, um, you know, the little surprise classical fight spear spam on, you know, some of Shadowfax's um, hunt. Anyway, so Puma and Obito are killers in their vocals on WhatsApp, man. Dude, indeed. I gotta get Obito. Oh, dude. Dark, I gotta get Obito to do a little soundbite for the stream. Because like I said, Pumas, I use Pumas for, um, I use Pumas for the subscriptions. Maybe I should get Obito to do something for, for like, uh, tips or something like that. <laughs> that's a good idea. That's, I'm, I'm glad. You, you gave, you, you know, helped me, gave me the idea, man. That's, that's awesome. Look at the 30C, what a map screw. 30C for whom? I suppose for Grand Monster? Yeah, yeah. Grand Monster has a little bit of a rough map, honestly. His, uh, his gold is all very forward. The TC is very forward. Pretty early semi-fast uh, heroic for Shadowfax, before 10 minutes even. Okay, so Grand Monster up at a very, you know, pretty much right after him. Nice. Dropping a military academy, probably going to be getting some Hippospis out to um, to fight against the spear. Sending Vils right into the spears. Don't know if he's going to get a Vil. What? What? Are you kidding me? Was that worth it? His locust? This is huge! Are you kidding me? His locust? His locust still killed a villager, forced the restoration. No, like Ori, Ori was building a second town center right away. Is it worth it to save? Ah, uh, he has four or five villagers. I don't know, but is it worth it to restore your locusted vills rather than using a restoration on on you know pushing a gold mine? I guess I guess no mercy's going for the boom right here. He's going for the boom right here. Um, he has great gold mines. Look at this. Good gold mine over here. He's walled up this gold mine, although it's still, you know, you could get through a wall, of, you know, easy-ish. Anyways. Um, man, yeah. Grand Monster, you're right. Who said that? Agleed? Dude, you're right. This The TC is sketchy, to say the least, for Grand Monster. Like, it's on the other side of this wood line as well. Anyway, sorry, I was saying something about uh, Shadow Facts using restoration to push a gold mine. He is going for the booming approach, the economy approach, rather than the military approach. So I guess it makes sense to use his restoration to save a couple of villagers. But still, I, eh, it still seems like an awkward way to use your restoration. He lost a bill to a hyena. You're right. Vil lost to a hyena. Brutal, brutal, brutal. Okay, so we're on 2 to 2 TCs at this point in time. Grand Monster has his forward TC, which I like that he took his forward TC because I don't think No Mercy is going to be sieging it down anytime soon, and it means that he's going to more easily take his back TC. On the flip side, depending on what type of aggression Grand Monster can put together um, with his, you know, with this little bit of army, it might Okay, JK, like Ori's taking his third TC right away. I was going to say, the TC is kind of really out here, pretty exposed. That could be denied if Grand Monster wanted to pressure that enough. Want me to ask him for a voiceover for, t voiceover for tips? Um, yeah, but, yeah, but Dark, I, I don't know what I want him to say yet. What should we have, what should we have him say? Maybe we should just let, you know, him as the voice artist, we should let him decide. <laughs> I don't know. In fact, yeah, everybody else, if you're if you're listening to this right now, give me some advice or let me know if you have any 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 suggestions. Um, so for every anytime somebody um, interesting can can what was what was the word I was gonna say here? Interesting little scuffle going on here. Okay, the spears a little bit awkward. The chariots, I'd like to see the chariots focus down the tox. I don't know if I like this fight from Shadowfax. It seems like a little bit of a weird fight for him to take, but it seems like who's getting the better of it? This is kind of a zero sum game here. Like both players losing a lot of units. It seems like it's slight, okay, it's slightly going in the favor of, 
uh, Shadow Facts. Grand Monster's mainly switching over to Chariots, however. Um, so he just used up the spears, took out most all of the hips, actually. Now that all the Hipkins are dead, I mean, the Tox are not going to fare too well against the Chariot Archers. So, yeah, that was a little bit of a zero-sum fight right there. No clear winner, so to speak. Market's coming up for Grand Monster. RDS is third TC up. He's hunting right next to it. Very nice for him. Very nice for him. <clears throat> Vanilla games are more boomy than AOT. It depends on the game, Antos. It depends on the game. They can either be super aggressive. They can they can be more boomy, sure. The thing is, is that since since you can't take instant TCs in classical. Your economy is so much more fragile because it's smaller and it's more fragile. So little, so mistakes, little mistakes go a long way, a, lo a longer way in vanilla versus the expansions. Okay, so we're going straight camels and art chariots. I don't know if I like that because Patromo's hips with some archers backing it really does a great job against that. Yeah, you got to have... I don't know, it's hard to it's hard to justify making spears so early because their, you know, medium spears are not are not very strong once you once you mix in the heroic possibilities. A bolt on a siege tower? What? You like the mixing the peltas in? Absolutely, man. Peltas are like slingers. They can either do nothing or they can do everything. So if you can if you can afford a couple of APM to focus fire the uh, peltas on the chariots they're great and you just gotta just gotta um you know focus a little bit and prioritize it put in the effort three to three tcs super close on super close on score i'm gonna see if i can check eco upgrades first sign of eco upgrades for no mercy he does have the relic for cheaper villagers much better eco upgrades for grand monster plus the trade route already starting for grand monster so even though no mercy has the um has the score lead right now it's still... Oh, this is such a good song, guys. Peltas never do anything. You're wrong, Jiggly. You're wrong. They just take micro. What's up, Tass? What's up? I don't like that he's losing so many siege towers without really doing much damage. It seems like No Mercy is doing a good enough job of focus firing his talks um, so that they don't just sit there and attack the siege tower. Um, so, I don't know if I like the Siege Towers. <laughs> That's, I'm good, dude. I'm doing great. I got my Golden Ale. We got some GGs. Dude, I'm, I'm doing great. Is this commentator a good player? No, he is not. Fucking noob. Peltas are only bad because people just mass them. Well, I mean, yeah. Like, you can't... You're not supposed to have a massive Peltas like Tox. Or chariot archers, they're they're a pretty specific counter unit. So you want to you know have a little chunk if you can manage the micro, use them appropriately, and you're and you know you're good. <laughs> this is such a good song. It's such a chill song. I love it. Oh, what is this? Is he seriously gonna sneak a villager back in there? Both relics. No, oh shit, I didn't see him get the Black Lotus. Villagers farm faster. Villagers farm faster, and um, oh, it's the increased villager hit points. That's the relic he got. I think that relic might have helped him not lose those villagers during the Locust. You can't hear the music? You can't? Dude, it's so good. I'm doing casting right now, Tass. I'm doing casting. There's plenty of games to cast. So I don't think I'll be playing today, just casting. Rushing up Amygdal. I don't think, I don't know if that Amygdal's gonna go up. There's so few chariots there. There's a good amount of hips, a big uh, box of, a uh, group of uh, talks there, or archers rather. Ooh, half HP. Can he take it down? 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 Maybe, maybe, maybe. I think, I think that, I think it's gonna stay up. Again, there's a good amount of, uh, there's a good amount of Hipkins there, but I think the Migdal's gonna stay up. 
Only one Peltas. They're doing a decent job against the uh, Chariots, but... Okay, and the Migdal stays up, people! Migdal stays up! Stick to casting, please. Shut up, dude! Hey, I'm not that bad. <laughs> the music is a little loud now. You're welcome, dude! It's fucking chill, man. I love it. There we go. A bronze? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I know you're kidding, Amentus. Hephaestus for Shadow Facts. I hate how he used this bronze. He had like half an army here and he used bronze. Sick, he's got Thracian horses. I hate how he used bronze. Dude, I hate how he used bronze. A sentinel? Are you kidding? <laughs> Dude, it's exciting shit, Antos. It's exciting shit. You should have seen the Hunt Elite before if you were watching, man. Bronze is a trash god power. I don't agree, dude. It all depends. A lot of god powers, it really depends on how you use them. There's some god powers that you just can't go wrong with, like curse or, you know, ceasefire. Uh, you can go wrong with ceasefire, but something like that, you know. What do you guys think? So Grand Monster is still uh, heroic, but we have the Zeus in Mythic with three TCs, no trade route. No trade route for our Zeus player. He has his market up ready to go, but no trade route just yet. G Greek, or sorry, Zeus Mythic takes a good amount of gold. A good amount of gold, so... I don't know. Yeah, I don't like how he's using all of these huge towers. I really don't like it. He has a good amount of trade. Nice amount of trade. Let's check eco upgrades. Almost full eco upgrades. How about no mercy? Okay, okay, better. Doing better on eco upgrades. What's the bell recharge time on Nilla? I can't remember. It's fucking insane. But I can't remember if we changed it a little bit as part of the balance patch or not. I can't remember 100%. Five seconds. Yeah, but did we change it, Tectonus? I can't remember. This guy's a motherfucker. I hate Bellerophon. I hate Bellerophon so bad. Such a motherfucker. Okay, so if you guys were in Grand Monster's position, which mythic god would you go through? Would you go through Son of Osiris, or would you go through Is Osiris, or through Horus against Zeus? This is vanilla, so Colossi cost 40 favor. So a Colossi spam is not a thing. Not a thing. So would you go Horus? I mean, Horus spears are strong, but it's not like... You know, it's not like, uh, uh, it's not, it's not like, it's not like Horus Spears are going to do much against a Zeus in Mythic, you know? So the axes, the axe upgrade against buildings, Avengers, Tornado, I don't know, versus uh, Osiris. Osiris with Bellerophon, Osiris is a little sketchy. Stronger camels. Yep, Merms are two pop in vanilla. Mermillo are only, or sorry, Myrmidon. This is potentially big. I like the fortress. Thank you for the follow, King. I can't see the name. Uh, King Gavi. King Agvi. That's a fun name. The fortress is cute, crucial to save his trade route. This could potentially be big. Grand Monster cutting into this trade route. That could be huge for No Mercy. Similarly, similarly, he needs to be careful that No Mercy does not do the exact same thing into his trade route. So he goes through Osiris. Okay, so stronger camels, Osiris god power, son of Osiris god power, stronger camels. A couple bits of HP down on son of Osiris. Okay. Yeah, Myr Myrmidon are two pop and vanilla. They can only be built from the fortress. You cannot build Myrmidon from a barracks. Military academy, whatever you want to call it. But... They are too pop, yeah. It's fucking insane, man. It's fucking insane. There's the motherfucker. There's the motherfucker right there. I fucking hate Bellerophon. I don't know who's worse, Son of Osiris or Bellerophon. All right, what do we got going, people? Let's check the armory upgrades. First line of armory upgrades for... Oh! Four Grand Monster, second line, plus Bacchanal, plus Bacchanalia, plus Thracian Horses. So actually, maybe Horus would have been the better idea. Go Horus, get Horus Spears against the strong, um, against the stronger cavalry. Eh. 
the Dionysus Cavalry. He should have, considering he went up through Hephaestus, he should have, did he go up through Hephaestus? Was I, what did he go up through? Yeah, he went up through Hephaestus, okay. So those, those, the last line of armory upgrades should be coming in any time now. Looks like the Migdal's definitely going down, three Helipoli. Okay, the good news for Grand Monster is that his trade route is still safe for now. But that's TBD for sure. Shadowfax, similar story. It's safe for now, but that's TBD to be determined. We have final... Nope, still no final line of armor upgrades coming in. We do have some mercs coming in. We do have... Son of Osiris is almost dead! 39 HP, are you kidding me? These Helopoli are strong, baby. They're strong. They're pretty much too boom. Son of Osiris, lightning all three of them down. Nice, nice, nice. Another Migdal going up. Okay, okay. Who's Toast Raptor? Son of Osiris ain't toast yet. I can smell it though. See that 39 HP? You know what that smells like? It smells like burnt toast, baby. Okay, and here we go. This fortress is bad news for Grand Monster, good news for Shadowfax. Busting into the trade line would be very big for Shadowfax. Very big. I gotta be careful not to drink too much beer. I'm gonna get fucking wasted through this series. <laughs> oh! Ka Carlos! Carlos, are you still here? You still need to send me a link to that blood orange beer that you're drinking, dude. So Cyrus is dead, everybody! Toasts in the chat, please, Raptor! Hit me up with some toast. Nice raid. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I don't know. There we go. Son of Osiris is toast. Ouch. That motherfucker. I don't know who I hate more. Son of Osiris or Bellerophon. Probably Bellerophon. That motherfucker. I hate Bellerophon. Oh, dude, dude, Rich, he's drinking a blood orange IPA. I told him to link me. That motherfucker needs to give me a link. There it is. Thanks, dude. Let's check this shit out. Thirsty dog. Yes, I am 21 and over. Oh, dude. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna focus. I'm gonna keep focusing on the game. I gotta, I gotta check that out after this game is over, dude. Champion talks coming in. Not still, despite have going Hephaestus, he still doesn't have all of his armory upgrades. Judas, they're almost equal on armory upgrades. That's huge, dude. That's huge. I, I bet, I bet, I bet Grand Monster went Osiris just out of habit to get mummies against the Colossi. Again, Colossi are 40 favor on vanilla, so a Colossi spam is not really a thing. Zeus is really the only one that can pull it off well. There we go, there's those two pop motherfuckers Myrmidon. Since Son of Os in fact, since Son of Osiris was dead, um, Grand Monster needs to be empowering his trade. No bueno, man, no bueno. What do you guys think? I think Grand Monster needs a little bit more trade so that he can start um um working. He needs to he needs to start taking advantage of mercenaries, I think. He did go up through um Hathor. So he does get Hathor mercenaries. I don't think I don't know if the upgrade shows up or not. Man, that's potentially so awkward. That's so awkward that his trade route goes out of the walls and then back in. No no mercy should just drop a couple towers there. Fuck it, just drop some towers. He has vills there. Drop some towers. You're gonna shred them. No problemo, baby. No problemo.
it seems like it seems like this is this is Grand Monster's win condition right here. Pushing into the pushing into the trade route is his win condition, I think. Because right here, he seems to be losing this battle over here. His trade route is fucking sketchy. It's I mean it's he's nowhere near pressuring a forward town center. He can maybe get into this uh, starting TC if he wanted to. In fact, oh my god, are you kidding me? He has three siege works right there. Pop, pop, pop. Pop out some catapults right there. Boom, take down the TC. But still, I think this is Grand Monster's win condition up here. Shadow Fax has a couple of options. He can fuck with the trade route, which he is doing. He can fuck with the trade route. He can continue pushing here. That's gonna take him some time. Hard to say, people, hard to say. <clears throat> Excuse me. And here come the Vils, the walls. The Vils are gonna wall up the trade. Oof, oof. Here comes this army. Are you kidding me? Here we go, towers, army, oh my god, oh my god, this is gonna be bad. This might be the game for Shadow Facts. This might be the game for Shadow Facts. Interrupting the trade route is huge. I wish we could see the resources they have. If Grand Monster were to switch his trade over to like the corner or something like this, it would still be acceptable, but definitely not ideal. I'd cut his trade route in like, like a third or so. Yeah, Grand Monster's in big trouble. Shadow Facts pushed into the trade route first, boom. That's the that's the big win condition here. That's the big win condition here. He's able to hold his own trade route. He's able to push into Grand Monsters. Oof. Game is not quite over. Not quite over, but it's, you know, definitely not looking good for Grand Monster having to mess up your trade route like that. No bueno, my friends. I think that this is... Villagers farm faster. I think it's a huge mistake for uh, No Mercy to not get this again. Big mistake. That's big, 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 baby, big. Okay, repositioning the market here. I don't know, guys. I don't know. He still doesn't even have champion chariots for the top line of armory upgrades. Market going down again. It seems like this, this, this trade denial. Intrusion. Let's call it a trade intrusion. The trade intrusion, I, th I think that gives No Mercy the, de the definite edge over Grand Monster. It was, since Grand Monster could push into here, and No Mercy was kind of winning here on the battles down here, it was kind of in flux, kind of 50-50-ish, right? But pushing into here and finally interrupting the trade route and whatnot, I think that's... It's not the nail in the coffin. Like, the game can still continue, but that definitely pushes No Mercy into the ad advantageous position. Definitely. Yep, and he's secure in the corner, as he should. Nice play there. <laughs> I don't know, guys. What do you think? Grand Monster. Can Grand Monster survive? Can he survive? I don't think he's going to get his trade route back anytime soon. <laughs> no mercy, even stealing the corner for trade. God. I mean, considering the lack of upgrades. I mean, it's not like it's not like no mercy's fully upgraded either. He still needs to get his last two um, armory upgrades for um, hack armor and pierce armor. A very close game. Grand Monster calls it. Grand Monster calls it. So No Mercy takes game number one. That was a really close game. I don't think he. I don't think. No, Jiggly. What happened? Somebody. Somebody post the clip in the chat for Jiggly to see what happened. Was that it, Antos? Is that it? <laughs> Yeah, that's what happened. Honestly, I think I think the main caveat in this game, I already talked about this, is the trade routes. Like if Grand Monster could have successfully pushed into here, 
he would have gotten an edge over No Mercy. If No Mercy pushed into here, he would have gotten the edge over Grand Monster. And, you know, No Mercy pushed in first, or rather successfully pushed in first. Because Grand Monster, I think, pushed in first, but he didn't successfully fuck with the trade route, right? No Mercy successfully fucked with the trade route, and there we go. The rest is history! Interesting KD, interesting KD. It was a really good game, man. Really good game. Really interesting. Very interesting, actually. Grand Monster had so much fewer resources. Just suddenly, bzzz. Very interesting. Okay. Well, I mean, really nice game. That was a really close game. Really close game. So one zip so far for No Mercy. <clears throat> I need more beer, people. Oh, that's right. Speaking of beer, Blood or Bloodhound Orange, dude. Carlos, that sounds interesting. Speaking of your, um, whoops, no, 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 no. Bloodhound Orange, infused with blood oranges and hopped with Azaka and Centennial hops for a refreshing fruit-flavored sensation. Dude, that sounds, that sounds tropical as fuck, man. Are you kidding me? I like this this uh, this hound dog. Is that what it's called? Thirsty dog. This thirsty dog uh, site. I like their website, man. I like it. It's cool. Barrel aged beers. God damn. I like you, Cal Kalos. 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 I like you, man. Hey, I got a bunch of uh, my company has an office out in uh, out in your neck of the woods, dude. <clears throat> the score is 1-0, Rappel. score is 1-0. Refreshing, though, after a long... Uh, drinking the cheapest of bulk lager you can find. <laughs> Refreshing, though, after a long day. Hey, man, cool. How dark is it? Is the lager, how dark is it? I'm just finishing up, like I said before, it's a Chasing Tail Golden Ale, so it's nice, it's pretty light, pretty light, pretty light, good flavor, I don't know. Oh, check this out, check this out, so speaking of Hound Dog, Carlos, you might like this, I got a little, you see the little doggy? You see the little doggy on that? It's like a, what, what is that guy, a little, oh, I can't remember my reads right now. Anyways, so um, so so listen to this, listen to this. An English-style summer ale. This tail wagger has already fetched a real name for itself in competition. <laughs> Our premium barley rolls over with rolls over with domestic and imported golding hops for a delicate bitterness and a cold, wet nose. <laughs> this award winner is a beer that you will want to adopt year-round. No pedigree necessary. That's funny. That's funny. Classic pale lager, gotcha. Something like that. Okay, okay, cool. I'm going to have to go get another one. <clears throat> okay, let's restart the tunes. We got that shit going. We got our scoreboard ready. Let's move this over, and here we go. Okay, everybody, we have Grand Monster in the blues. Sticking with Ra, as you just saw, the map is Ghost Lake. 
Over here in the red, we have a continuation of Greek from Shadowfax, but he is switching over to Poseidon. So Ra against Poseidon on, uh, whoops, on um, Ghost Lake is what we have. <laughs> For game number two. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what's going on here. Let's see what's going on here. The most important thing, most important thing on Ghost Lake, in my opinion, um, when you're playing against an Egyptian, is it a one starting gold mine or two st starting gold mine Ghost Lake? And it looks like it is a one starting gold mine Ghost Lake. So they're playing against Ra. There's some gold gold star potential on a second gold mine. A nice timed attack. Let's see what. Although Shadow Fags, let's see how aggressive he decides to be. If it's anything like the last game, he's going to go for the e economy approach, the, um, um, the economy boomy approach, you know, kind of a semi-fast heroic type of a dealy hopper, right? <clears throat> As they try and scout a little bit, we'll eventually see what the map actually looks like, but not a very good gold mine for Grand Monster. He does have a wood line right there. So he can throw up like a wall or something like that. There's a tower over here, but not the best gold mine for Grand Monster. Not the best gold mine for Shadowfax either. It's close to his TC, not, I mean, it's not exposed. I don't anticipate him needing to defend his starting gold mine. I'm just saying, just saying. Um, as for Hunt, I think they started with two boars, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, starting with two boars. Small little patch of caribou on one side, another little patch of caribou on another side. Okay, so not the not a low hunt map, kind of a medium range amount of hunt over here for the players. Okay, we can check out this relic, the monkey head, three monkeys, nothing, nothing big there, nothing big there. Um, again, there's still plenty more black to scout for Shadowfax, but we can already see that his second and third gold mines might be way over here. Um, uh, way over here on the right side of his map. He can throw up a wall right here, secure this back one pretty darn easily. Here's the other relic, which is cheaper villagers. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Anyways, he should be able to wall this up and secure this gold mine. Um, but I mean, there is, it would take a a little bit of walling to do so this other this third gold mine not that great this considering how far away these gold mines are it makes me a little worried for grand monsters gold mines again talking about potential gold star of opportunities if there's only two additional um, large gold mines on the map <clears throat> it'll be interesting to see what um, Grand monster does um he's already on to sheep and has three on wood, so he's probably going for the uh, Tav, Fast Heroic, something like that. I don't think we're gonna see any type of um, classical play here. I think we, uh, I think we, although I don't know, he, he's done, so far he's done zero scouting. Looks like he's probably advancing right now. Uh, um, Grand Monster's done zero scouting at this point in time, so he has no idea wh where his other gold mines are. Oh, there's actually four boars. Okay, so there's the starting two, and there's actually an additional two. So there's actually four boars that No Mercy might not have scouted, although it looks like this, his lure pulled in at least one boar. I wonder if the other one is maybe here. Maybe, I don't think he, I think there were just two right there. Whatever, whatever. Not that important, not that important. But anyways, off. Okay, so if this are, is if these are Grand Monsters second and third gold mines, I don't like this at, this at all. I don't like it at all. It's nice that if you can generally secure this area of the map, if he can generally secure this, there are two gold mines here, so it's not like he it's not like he has this gold mine over here and then one way over here on the right side of the map, right? But still, right on the ice, you can't build a Migdal in front, you have to build it's it just it just could be awkward. It could potentially be awkward here. That's kind of what I'm getting at here, right? That's kind of what I'm getting at. 459 advance through Hermes for Shadow Facts, considering he's Poseidon. Nothing surprising there. Is he even gonna bother? He is dropping a stable right away. Okay, okay, okay. Um, three, six on wood right away. That's interesting for Shadow Facts. I wonder if that's to get out Hippolyta early. I don't think so. He's already got a villager coming out to gold. Is that, why does he have six on wood? Hey, 
Ori, when you're watching this VOD, why do you have six on wood? Message me, I'm interested. I need another beer, gentlemen! Ah! Gaston! Bear me! Hey, Carlos. Dude, I want some of that blood orange, or blood orange, blood orange shit, dude. For sure. He is going for the classical fight. And a mess of houses. Oh, oh, okay. You know, I don't disagree with that. I'm sorry, I just wasn't thinking of that. But now that I'm thinking of, you know, a little bit, yeah, that makes perfect sense. He definitely needs to secure this shit. And this shit. Okay, he definitely has Shadoof for the cheaper farms. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, eleven, soon to be twelve farms. Nice, nice, nice. He has husbandry and plow as well. Just about two by one is what is that what Ori's doing? One by one, two by one. He has two stables, one archery range. Not a big surprise there. He is just now breaking into the gate with no spears or nothing. There we go. There's a couple of spears. All right. The gold mine is so exposed here, baby. So exposed. Yeah, why am I surprised that he's classical fighting? I'm not surprised at all. That was weird. Sorry. Okay. Maybe the six on gold. Get yeah, the six on or wood. Get yeah, the six on wood early to get Hippolyte out eventually. Start getting a couple of talks out and whatnot. Oof, one of the talks is in range of the tower fire. These heroes are big. Maybe want to get the pre Pharaoh in to try and help do some damage. <gasps> okay, Hippolyta and a tox getting shifted. That didn't help all too much, but I guess it's better to have only one tox and a bunch of and, and hips against a bunch of spears. So a little bit of an interesting decision there by uh, shifting sands. But yeah, it was a little bit of a weird shifting sands, but I don't know, whatever, 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 whatever. Theseus is almost toast, Raptor. Boom, there he goes. The Pharaoh picks him off. Big old Pharaoh rock to the face. Okay. Spears, 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 Spears. That's the name. Medium Spears, even, with non-upgraded Hippocans. Okay. It's good news for uh, Grand Monster. Thank you, Raptor. Thank you. <laughs> Only one toast for Theseus. Only one toast. <laughs> I'm not sure what I think about this fight for either player. Hips have, you know, the better... Um, HP and whatnot, they are unupgraded. There is one Tox that was dead, another one sitting here doing some decent damage. Interesting fight here, the Pharaoh's even moving in. We got Mr. Amenemope. Okay, is he gonna help out? Going for the, oh, I like using the Pharaoh to go for the Tox, I really like that. Have the Spears focus in on the Hippocons. Very nice, very nice, very nice. We have two on wood for Grand Monsters, so he is not interested in going uh, for any slingers. Just now, he's losing the Pharaoh there. That's two toast, Raptor. That's two toast, right? That's definitely got to be two toast worthy. So it's hard to say who was, you know, who's, who, who, how, how do I phrase this? Who was the fight better for? Shadowfax or Grand Monster. It hurts that he lost the Pharaoh. Both players lost a lot of units. <laughs> Thank you, Raptor. <laughs> At least somebody uses my emojis. <laughs> okay, so he's got a couple slingers going. Let's check his arm eco upgrades. Really, he's got all the all the wood upgrades that he needs so far. So it's not like he needs a lot of wood. He's got three going. Okay. It's not like he needs a lot of wood to get some slingers out. You don't want to go too heavy on slingers anyway. <laughs> Raptor. <laughs> Medium hips coming in. That's going to be big. They're definitely going to be big. So fights what he took before. Woo! Hang on, hang on. King Gagvi. <laughs> you have a weird name, but this is for you. 
delicious. Thanks for the bits, man. <laughs> one, 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 one. All right, there's a big fight going on here. Decent micro with the slingers picking off the tox. Got to be careful with those bad boys. Seems like the fight was going has gone slightly better for Shadow Facts. Or sorry, no, 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 no. For Grand Monster, for Grand Monster. Go. Let's see if he can focus. Fire the tox down. Got to keep those tox out of range of the uh, slingers. 16 range versus 15 range. So, you know. King Agvi. King King Agvi. Bro, how do you say your name, man? Am I just butchering it? <laughs> King Agvi. K Ing Agvi. Whatever, man. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whatever, man. It is what it is, right? It is what it is. 25 bits, man. Much appreciated. And the Catascopus Scout, the Catascopus is dead right there. That's, I don't like that. Why did Shadowfax bring that in? Stick that motherfucker on a TC or something, right? King Agvi. Okay, gotcha. What is that from, dude? Is that from a video game or an anime or, you know, I don't know, something like that? Oh, shit. Oh shit! You got double time, bro. <laughs> Thanks for the 25 bits, dude. I like how it shows up as one 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 in the chat. Much appreciated, man. Anyways, yeah, what is Agvi from? I've never seen that before. It sounds like Does anybody know what that is? I have no idea. Pharaoh is back. M and MNP the second is back in action. All right, here we go. What can the Slingers do? A hip is in on the Slingers. I don't like this fight from Shadowfax. What is he doing, man? He doesn't have enough units. He doesn't have enough units. This is... And he forces the ceasefire. Wow. Wow, wow, wee, wow. I, yeah, I don't, I don't like that fight. Why did he turn around and take that fight? No me gusta. Ooh, it's open right there. I don't, I don't like that he, that he took the fight. Why? At this point in time, it's 13 minutes into the game, right? At this point in time, you don't have to take unfavorable fights like that. It's not like he's being pressured on a gold mine. It's not like he's being kicked off of a TC or something like that. I don't, dude, Ori, when you watch this VOD, bro, I don't like that shit, man. I don't think the ceasefire was necessary. Um, super nice that Ori has so many goats. I, I should have counted the goats. He has he has pretty much all the goats on the map because Grand Monster did zero scouting in Archaic. Um, anyways, yeah. So I I don't I don't like. Well, anyways, yeah. Very nice for him. Very very nice. Okay, so Ori's listening. Okay, yeah. Go do some fucking raiding, man. See what you can do. Ooh, speaking of raiding, Grand Monster getting some action going as well. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Oh, watch it! He's got to watch it. Oof. My Hippolyta doesn't have that good of, uh, of accuracy. What the fuck? Okay, the Pharaoh's almost dead and the Centaur's still full HP. No mercy, feeling like he wants to retreat a little bit. Boom, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting little fights here. You can tell that they have so many villagers with such with only one TC because their, their armies aren't too big. This is this is about half the size of Hell's Hell's classical fight armies. Army. Man, his army was so damn big. Terrifying. What can we do? Can he get the slingers in on the talks? I don't know if... Uh, <sighs> heroic through Hathor, okay. Dropping a Migdal there. I don't like this fight from Shadowfax, man. I don't like the fight from Shadowfax. Like, with a, just a decent amount of micro, you can pick off the slingers, do so much damn damage to even the medium talks. No armory upgrades. Any army upgrades from... Okay. I mean, the hips are strong. Actually, Hippolyta is strong. I think Hippolyta's probably been doing work. I haven't really paid much attention, but there goes the Migdol. I don't like that the Pharaoh's dead now, so that Migdol, that Migdol might be delayed. Are you kidding me? With the more uh, units coming in from Shadowfax, you gotta be kidding me. There's another Slinger, okay, 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 okay. 
half HP, two thirds HP. All right, so it's definitely going down. I thought maybe, you know, there was the possibility that he blocked the MIG from going up. There was a possibility. All right, now that I, I think Grand Monster should definitely retreat. Retreat to your Migdal. You're fine, dude. You're fine. Um, no Mercy definitely needs to get heroic. Definitely needs to get heroic at this point in time. I don't know. Like, here's the thing. He needs to get heroic so that he can take TCs to get more population. Because it's, I mean, again, 16 minutes into the game. 16 minutes into the game. And these guys have been actively producing villagers basically the whole time, right? So eventually, when you only have, like, that one town center, you, your army is going to be pretty small. So I don't, I don't know if he's... If he's gonna have a big enough army to really push this and take out a, a Migdol, you know? He could maybe... Like, try and focus down units and kill some villagers. I don't know, the Migdol is kind of far away from the gold mines, both of the gold mines. I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not convinced either way, but I'm not sure either. There we go, there's Aphrodite. Oof! Pigs uses the curse god power. Even gets a couple of vills. Low HP spears, couple of vills even. Oof. Nosh, nosh, fair nosh. And yeah, the vills are forced to retreat, man. Let's check eco upgrades real quick. First line plus skin of the rhino. I really like that. In in improves the armor, pierce and and attack it just they basically get armory upgrades the villagers i really like that actually considering how exposed the gold mine is i really like that from grand monster this is looking a little sketchy the curse was really nice this is looking a little bit sketchy now by grand monster maybe i'm wrong about you know shadow facts continuing the pressure he's certainly taking losses here big time fighting consistently fighting under the he's going all in he's okay maybe not taking a second town center but still oh my god are you kidding me fighting with villagers you never want to do that you never you i mean you want to do that if it's necessary but you never want to be forced to do that is what i'm saying oh mama oh mama can he survive can he survive can he survive so after all of that no mercy on two tcs let's check his um Dealy Hoppers, second line of eco upgrades, going to Ranos mode. <laughs> what is that villager? He was so No Mercy was so excited to you know to w to win the game and gold starve that he even sent a villager forward. The villager wanted to. I want to join in. All right, not crazy about this micro, but again, look how low HP a lot of those vills are, even with skin of the rhino. <sighs> Okay, so two TCs for No Mercy, plus the eco upgrades. I think that No Mercy is going to start to pull away pretty big time here. No second TC from Grand Monster. Here's barely holding, barely holding on to his two gold mines. I like the forward buildings from No Mercy. Excuse me. Both of the gold mines are over here, so, you know, why not pile up over here? I think Grand Monster should try to send out a couple camels to see if he can get a good Locust. He advanced through her Hathor for Heroic, so he definitely wants to get a couple, uh, or, or get a good Locust off, right? Gold mine is out, so one gold mine left, 4,000 gold left, until we are strictly on trade for gold, um, which is very interesting. Grand Monster going for a second TC. He might be spotted by the Villager if the Villager has enough uh, line of sight. There are, I mean, what, like 10, 12 villagers uh, building it, so it should go up, no problem. Needs more dilly hoppers. <laughs> uh, dude, a couple more dilly hoppers and he'd be good to go. I completely agree with you, Cuddy. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs more? They both need more dealy hoppers, man. That's the big thing. Oh, boom! Just like that. Two, two TCs. Boom, boom. So we got three to two TCs. Three to two TCs for now. But again, Shadow Fax's economy is definitely going to be a lot better. He's got the second line of you know eco ups, excluding um, his farm upgrade, which he needs. But he's had the second TC for longer. So we should be ahead in Vils again. I should be ahead in economy upgrades. Yes, yes, yes. Shh. 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 Is 
this enough to take out like the TC over here? Maybe with the two basically full health Nemean Lions or Gay and Lions. Rapple doesn't like Nemean Lions. Is Don watching? Don, are you out there? Dude, I bet Don's got a hard on for these lions, don't you? I like how Don uses his uh, myth or his heroic myth units in early heroic. I like what Don does with them. Going for the TC, trying to throw down a Migdol. The market is up, okay. Going for the TC. Army is right behind. I don't like that he includes the Pharaoh with the army. He could cut off the army and this could be weird. This could be weird. Okay, okay, okay. This could be so weird. He's got enough, uh, a def uh, what, three priests plus the Pharaoh going for the lions. Pharaoh's almost down. Awkward fight here. It might up, end up going for, in Shadowfax's favor. The lions are big. Pharaoh down, one priest down, two priests still going. And the, uh, even, a, even a couple of uh, 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 mercenary coming out for, uh, for what's his bucket? <laughs> What's this bucket? The, what's this bucket? Making more dilly hoppers, right, Cuddy? <laughs> oh shit, I didn't do the prediction. Shit. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, let me conclude the prediction. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. This is for game one. Wait, what? This is for game one. No mercy one, game one. Sorry, I completely forgot about the predictions. He used Earthquake? Where did he use it? On the Migdol! Is he gonna go run over in the Gold Star real quick? How much gold is left in the mine? 1,500 gold! No trade route for No Mercy. Oh, just kidding. He's just starting a trade route. 1,500 for No Mercy. 600 plus... Okay, so 3,400. 3,400. About double the amount of gold for Grand Monster, but it's not... SECURE! Oh my god! Oh my god! I think this might be game, people. I think this might be game. This is all so exposed. Grand Monster doesn't have military numbers. Petsukos is down. His gold is getting smoked. A Chimera. Toast, we got a toast, a real toast. That is a perfect usage, Raptor. Getting a couple of bills. Oof. Pharaoh's down. I think he's toast too, man. I think he's toast too. Can he hold on? Can Grand Monster hold on? I mean, if he doesn't, like, just so few. I mean, there's only two gold mines, and his was so exposed, you know? No predictions for this one. I know. I'm so sorry. I completely forgot. We'll do, we'll do game three. We'll do game three. I'm so sorry. Oof, 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 oof. Can, I mean, what do you guys think? Can Grand Monster hold on here? Is he, I mean, that's one, that's five toasts. Raptor just threw down the gauntlet in toast. <laughs> Is he toast? Can he hold on? What do you guys think? It's looking pretty fucking bad in my opinion. Is Chimera nerfed in vanilla? I don't think so. I don't think there's any difference between expansions and vanilla with Chimeras. I think with that, with that, Little special attack. I think most of the bills were just too far away for him to get a true toast usage. I mean, the trade route is coming up for Grand Monster. He has, I mean, I don't know how many trade caravans he has. There's a small number of trade caravans. No mercy getting some big dick stable energy, getting that horse dick stable energy going. He's kind of holding on, kind of. What is happening here? Villagers are coming in. Oh, are we gonna get a bowl? Are we gonna get a fry? Are we gonna get a fry? Are we gonna get some bird? Oh, whoops. Oh man. Oh! Oh, there's, okay. I mean, he uses the locust to kill most of the vills there. Nice, nice, nice. Didn't quite get all of them, but nice. He didn't want to get his own villagers, which is very interesting. iPhone. One. Wow, 
Why did he suicide his veils? Because he doesn't need any veils on gold, man. There's no more gold mines for balance. There's no excluding these two. There's no more gold mines for no mercy. So, <clears throat> so he's just relying strictly on trade. His gold income is simply trade. So he doesn't really need as many villagers because only two resources, food and wood, he needs villagers for. His gold is strictly market, like I said. What do you mean you don't know how? Let's go to her name, go to whatever. Game two going to <laughs> Game two goes to goes to <laughs> why did he surrender? Sorry, it's because of how the how the vanilla observer maps work. I was supposed to resign, but I was sitting there looking at my stupid phone because of the interruption. So Anyway, so yes, Shadowfax clearly Shadowfax takes game two. There's, you know, that clearly happened. Oh, did I keep him as Zeus? Wait, what? I selected him as Poseidon. What? Oh, that's weird. Shadowfax was Poseidon this whole game. I only just realized that my scoreboard was wrong. That's my bad. <laughs> yeah, I get the W. That's right, motherfuckers. This tournament's mine. <laughs> Don't forget the third bowl. I won't. I won't. Let's go look at the post game real quick. And considering that Grand Monster was mainly going for a lot of classical units, I'm not. I'm not surprised that he had the worst KD. But it's the eco that I'm particularly interested in. I mean, yeah, Shadow Facts. It took him a second for him to get his eco going, but eventually the you know Vill num. Whoops, Vill numbers. You start pulling ahead in Vill numbers. I mean. Vill number timeline is actually a little bit more awkward and closer than I forgot, or than I forgot than I was thinking. Interesting. Well, okay. Well played to uh, No Mercy. Well played to No Mercy. Game two goes to him. So match point for No Mercy. Well, match point for No Mercy. Merci. Needed cease to keep me alive. Then, hmm. I don't know about that. All right, I'm gonna go get another beer too. Devil the Kind. Sure, the follow. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Is this a gun back? Well, it's a best of five, so it's match point for um, for Gra for No Mercy. Grab Monster can reverse sweep. He definitely has his work cut out for him. Be right back. Um, I'll be right back. I need to get another beer, and then um, and then I'm gonna do <gasps> hi puppy, and then I'm gonna do the predictions for game number three. Hello, Teddy Bearski. Let's go get some beer, Bearski. Get some beers. my friends be right back <laughs> be right back all right motherfuckers let's let's uh let's get into Acropolis, do I? I don't think I have a little map thing in the bobber for Acropolis, so let's go. 
I'll do the prediction. Don't worry. Don't worry. Where's the beer belly? I ain't got no beer belly, boy. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a raw mirror here. Oh, snap. Are you kidding me? What? Okay, so we got in the blue. We got no mercy, or sorry, uh, Grand Monster in the blue playing raw. This is not surprising. He likes going raw on Acropolis, doing a whole bunch of scarab bullshit. Um, over here in the red, we have a huge... In my opinion, misplay from No Mercy. He's playing Odin. Why in the world would you go Odin on Acropolis? There's no hunt. There's no hunt on this map. Like they might be a small little group of deer or something like this. What the fuck is he doing? Okay, wait, wait, before I open the beer, I gotta do predictions. Okay, predictions, people. Now that you know the gods, predictions. Who will win, who wins? Game, what is this? Three. GM, no mercy. Okay, um, you got we'll give you we'll give you two minutes. Two minutes for predictions, okay? Bonk. Even though why Odin? Shadowfax loves playing versus Raw, whatever. Fushi wins as always. Whatever, man. Like for realsies, there's no hunt. I don't see the benefit of going Odin. I would rather, I mean, even Oasis. Oasis has more hunt. Um, I mean, again, yeah, there's like one patch of deer per player, maybe, in a very awkward and far away spot. I guess he does get a lot of goats. And he went husbandry. He went husbandry and pickaxe? No, no, uh, what's it called? Oh, okay, let me open my fucking beer. No hunting dogs, of course. There's no fucking hunt. Why would he get hunting dogs? But husbandry and pickaxe, which is uh, interesting. You can't even rag on this map. Dude, we'll see, man. We'll see. Um, so what I got going now is... I can't see. What I got going now is a full suspension pale ale. Another squatters. Another squatters. I opened the beer before the pull. What do you mean, Aglid? I, I just barely opened the beer. Anyways, how many? 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 goats? Not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, that's right. You can just defend your little... You can just defend your little base. Oh, that's true. That's true. You can just wall the fuck out of this. Wall the fuck out of this. Although, you can still rag. You can definitely still use Ragnarok. You just have to have siege with it, man. Balderams, Balderams can bust through something. Balderams are even, uh, you know, get some ballista. You just gotta prep for the ball or for the Ragnarok, man. That's all you gotta do. Okay, so I'm very interested to see what you guys think. Who the fuck is gonna win this game? Like, I'm, I'm on paper. Not, not on paper. Maybe not on paper, but like, theoretically, hypothetically. I'm just gonna say, like, Grand Monster's got this, like, no problem. Why did he do two monuments? Because he's probably gonna, he's gonna go for some Scarab bullshit. Um, yeah, he's probably gonna go for some Scarab bullshit, we'll see. Uh, plus, or, or Petsukos. Against Shenanigans, he went for a kill or Petsukos spam, actually. He had, like, five Petsukos or something, and it was shredding Shenanigans. So, considering the fact that, um, Odin, in general, Jarls, of course, are good against Myth units, but um, Hersir are so fucking slow without Forseti. Heimdall, that's funny. They're so slow without Forseti that... Oh, snap. Oh, shit. Shut the front door. Are you kidding me? If this... There's no way this is going to work. There's no... I guess there's no towers in defense of the, of the gold mine. This is fucking hilarious. If this works... I will laugh a little bit. I'll laugh a little bit. Think No Mercy's trolling? I don't think so, man. I don't think so. Well, here's what I think. Here's what I think. I think that No Mercy thinks that maybe Grand Monster, if he were to pick Raw, Grand Monster definitely has the advantage in that he has the experience and blah, blah, blah. It's like his dealio going for the Raw bullshit on this map. So I wonder if he's A, going for thinking that maybe he would be at a disadvantage in that, um, um, 
the you know that he's his raw is not quite as sharp this map on this map compared to uh compared to compared to compared to the grand monster and he forces three barracks so on a positive note no mercy has at the very least forced grand monster to build barracks so he can't go straight heroic which is you know what he's done in the past so so there is that he is shaking things up and uh you know forcing grand monster or for yeah forcing grand monster to react right And here he comes! Woohoo! I don't know what the fuck is going on here, but it's weird. It's weird. Is he gonna get a vil pick? That'd be so funny. Shy! Almost. Lost to her, sir. Well, the gold mine is pretty darn, um, is pretty darn safe right he needs to get some units out or it's too late like eventually it's safe for now that's under the assumption that he's going to be creating units out of his barracks first diner jar is out okay you know the really interesting thing is that so far we only know that grand monster has a gold mine up here grand monster doesn't know where his other gold mines are. He hasn't scouted at all, you know, as a raw player. So the only reason why we know that is because of the scouting from Shadowfax. Did I? Yes, it did. Okay. Well, okay, here we go. Very interesting stuff. If you were Shadowfax, which, like, look, it's a, it's a, it's a large gold mine in your base, right? So you can sit on that thing for quite some time. It's not like a, there. It's not like a medium gold mine where there's only three k gold, and <clears throat> and you have to go. Um, you, know, you have to go outside of your base quickly. Yes. Like this is essentially like having you know two medium gold mines, right? Um, so we can sit in here for quite some time. I don't. Why? Why would he? Why would he pull out his units now? I don't know if I like. That. Hi, puppy. Oh, tickle, 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 puppy. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Interesting shift there. Okay. Can you pick off the Einer jar? What? Undermine on the tower. Both. He actually got both towers, which is funny. He saves his units, saves his iron jar. It's almost dead. Okay, Grand Monster feeling a little aggressive. Uh, I don't like this fight. I don't like this fight. Too many axes, not too many axes, not enough spears to take this fight against the Cav raiding cavalry. This is weird, man. This is weird. Again, Grand Monster doesn't know where any of his extra gold mines are. He doesn't know where any extra TCs are. He doesn't know anything right now. He hasn't scouted anything. I like the idea from Shadow Facts. I don't know if it's going to work, though. It's something different, which is nice, but I don't know if it's going to work, man. Misplay by the Pharaoh, misplay by the Pharaoh. Awkward, awkward, awkward. Getting so many hits on all those units. Oof, now we got two Ains out here. But this one's pretty much dead, but still. Pharaoh down, only two two priests, okay. All right, this is a better fight here for Grand Monster. I don't know if I want Shadow Facts to take this one. Way too many units here. Just way, just pure numbers wise. Way too many, way too many numbers. The Ainer Jar is good. Uh, getting the little boost of uh, attack, the temporary boost of attack, but still. He has no units. I mean, it's going to die pretty much right away. Boom, there we go. Jesus. Jesus H. Christ, more like it. Norse CF sucks. Bro, you shouldn't have taken that fight, man. Considering all of the... Okay, there we go. And the reverse sweep begins, Ori. 
You done fucked up. No, 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 no. I, I like the idea. Real for realsies. For realsies, I like the idea, right? I like the idea. Um, you know, force him to do something different that he doesn't he doesn't expect. Force him to play out of his comfort zone. I like the idea, but still a bad fight to take. That was a really bad fight to take. Bad fight to take. Yeah, let's 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 give out your the choose a prediction outcome. Grand Monster take game numero three. Uh, where's my thing about bobber? There's my thing about bobber. There we go. He said SS did a lot of damage. I actually disagree with him right there. He got out with pretty much all of his units. He used undermine, took out the two towers. That's nice, you know. Bad play for Mori. Well, I think it was just taking that fight right there. The fight here was good because it was RC mainly against axes. But over here, there was more spears. There's more spears. You know, the iron jar only got one blow. Blah blah blah. The second fight was what you know really really killed him. And I mean, he still has a couple of ghosts that he can take. You know, he's out here doing some shit. He's doing some shit. The eco's just a little weird. I don't know. I don't know. I like the idea, right? You gotta give respect to the idea. It's just... I don't know. 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 Alright. So, 2-1, two people. 2-1. Two this is such a good song. Enjoy the song for a minute. song i usually as you guys probably know maybe you don't i usually don't listen to stuff like this on on stream usually only when we're casting with something a little bit more calm but something about this song specific it's the saxophone the melody that the saxophone plays song is good dude I glead I agree the song is super duper good Angosta shut the fuck up Jotunheim are you kidding me FYI everybody This is hilarious. So just so that everybody knows, technically all of these games should be played on Conquest. So no wonder wins, no settlement wins. I think that's it. But you gotta, f I don't think I have a little map introduction for this one either. You gotta be kidding me. I think we might see Ra for rocks, maybe Zeus or Hades for an underworld, something like that. That's what I expect. But what in the hell are we looking at here? Jotunheim. I didn't think anybody would actually play it. Do I have a little Jotunheim video? I don't think I have a Jotunheim video. No Jotunheim video.
Yeah, no Titan wins. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna message him real quick. It's bugged. Grand Monster says it's bugged. Okay. Score, please. It's two to one. Two for, yeah, I should put my score up on my waiting thing. Hang on a second. Here's your scoreboard. It's 2 1. That's a little bit of a bummer. I was a little bit interested in what they would do on Jotunheim without a Wonder Win. That would have been really interesting, in my opinion. Drops. Oh yeah, because you guys picked raw, right? Or you get out of here, man. You're not supposed to be in here. They're going for King of the Hill instead. This is so ridiculous. <laughs> oh, do, who asked, uh, are there rules for repeat gods? Sorry, Lucas. Um... Zaid. Are there gods for or rules for repeat gods? No, only repeat maps. <laughs> um, it just if you if you wanted to know, Lucas. Here's here's all the rules right there. Okay, we have Grand Monster who is sticking with Ra. Even on the big hunt map, he is sticking with Ra. I find this very interesting because Grand Monster is a notorious Odin player. Despite the high hunt vanilla map, he's still picking Ra. You're a traitor, GM! Traitor! Speaking of Norse, ta da! We have a Norse selection in No Mercy. Thor here on our beloved this is my favorite map I love watering hole this is my favorite map so yeah so we yes we do have we do have a Thor pick here so Thor against Ra on watering hole first things first check out that motherfucker gold mine holy smokes very nice really very nice I think oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. sorry prediction okay let me do it right now right now right now did I give points for starter prediction? Okay. This is game four. Who win? wins game four? Mercy. We'll do, we'll do two minutes. We'll do two minutes. 
Anyway, it's super sick gold mine from Grand Monster. Super sick gold mine, so he should be fine. Secure the tower, you know, both towers, and his go he's going to be fine with gold, right? He's going to be fine with, um, dude, dark. Isn't this this is the best map? Isn't it dark? I love Watering Hole. It's always my favorite map. I don't care who, which god I play against, even against Set. I like, I like it. What does no classical TCs do to gameplay? Well, it definitely depends on the matchup and the map, Flacco. You can see prolonged classical fights, like, you know, 16 minute heroic times, you know, with full classical fights, stuff like that. You can see second gold mine gold starves pretty frequently, stuff like that. Um, semi fast heroics are a lot more common, stuff like that. Stuff like that. Usually, usually less boomy, more aggressive, usually. Um, both both a both expansions and vanilla both games have really transitioned into a really boomy meta um, but you know I'd say there's a lot more actual legitimate classical fight and raiding also raiding I agree Flacco I 100% agree dude classical TCs the you know as much as as many viewers of you are you know extended edition or tail the dragon the titans players i i agree dude i do agree by the way this is super killer that the gazelles are right next to the uh, zebras this is super killer for uh um for shadow facts um anyways relic oh shut up archers do more damage behind his base are you kidding me this this is a great relic for grand monster as a raw player, his are his chariots are gonna be super strong. Super duper strong. Checkpoint. Anyways, okay, so taking map control, little bit of map control by no mercy. I think I agree with that. Um I'd like to see he only went one Ulfsarg. Three, four, five, six, seven. What is that? Seven four five? One, two, three, four, seven, four, four, seven, four, five. Okay, okay, it's fine. Um I'm a little bit interested to see what Oh, Mercy's gonna do. Um, classical TC's and Addy were big mistakes for real. Free shooting dogs for all of the, all of the you know Titan stuff. I'm not. We're not. We're not here to. We're not here to you know make it into a big vanilla verse expansions you know discussion here. But, but I agree. I agree. Anyways, okay. So it looks like Grand Monster's probably just gonna be farming. Um, he, I mean, he's done basically no scouting, really no big need to. So he's, I mean, he took his, he took his dealy hopper. What's it called? His Ryan, uh, hippo. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. So Freya for Freya for Shadow Facts. Um, you know, I think I really agree with him going forward because check it out, check it out, check it out. We don't have a lot of the map scouted, so we can only do so much right now, right? But he. Um, <laughs> Anyways, he's, so he's building forward, right? So he's building forward, which if he continues to build forward and secures this area of the map right here, if he secures this TC, that's in my opinion, this is the better of the two TCs. Look why, because there is a shoreline right next to that beautiful big old TC. Check that shit out. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So this thing is gonna be very exposed and what's the word? Um, um, Exposed and what's the word for being like something? It's like uh, seed ships, seed ships. A dealy hopper emote, dude. What the fuck does a dealy hopper emote look like, Sigma? <laughs> <laughs> Let me know, and yes. <laughs> Anyways, for real, like this is this is awful. Having a TC within water range, it's awful. Having said that, you see this little bit of something or other right here? That is, a, it's a bit, it might be a little bit of water. So it's maybe possible if we had a little bit more scouting right here. It's maybe possible that that TC is also in range of water, which means this could be a very, very, very interesting game. Very interesting game. Also, two racks. Interesting. I don't know. You tell us. <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> Fair point, Sigma. Fair point, dude. <laughs> Very fair point, man. 
Seems like it seems like Shadowfax is just going for the semi fast heroic play. Um, which I, you know, I don't I don't completely I don't completely disagree with, you know. It's it's not it's not a problem. What relic is this by the way? Free food. Meh. Meh. Considering all the hunt, it's not like it's not like Thor's, or Thor is gonna be hurt on food, you know, so not, not a great relic. Not bad. Not bad. I think this relic definitely the better of the two though. Tooth arrows. Okay, so we do have a smidgen of scouting here. Look on the mini map. It looks like the water does not go up that far, but maybe it does. It's so hard to tell. Okay, we got some spears and shit coming out across the map. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I'm interested to see who's gonna get heroic first, because Grand Monster did the straight. Heroic. I think he clicked up Heroic and then started spamming some military units. Whereas, I mean, clearly Shadowfax got some out before Heroic. At least I'm pretty sure he got them out for, before Heroic. Oh, he's still making dwarves. Oh, okay. So Shadowfax is not even up yet. Okay. Two longhouses. Got his armory up. Me no likey. I put your armory there. It's awkward. It's very awkward. Okay, spears coming in. Where is it gonna use the locust? We know it's coming. Excuse me, oof, all the beer. Speaking of beer, Carlos, if you're still here, that blood orange, bloodhound orange, that sounds very enticing. I wanna drink that shit. What is it, medium spears and medium axes, okay. Nosh, nosh, very nosh. Bill's going after. Ooh! It's going after the spear. Okay. Cut or breaking through the wall. Yeah, this is really nice by Grand Monster. I do not think that Shadowfax expected this at all. He is up through Scotty, which is really nice. If he really needed to, he could frost this shit and build a hill for it. That's a little awkward. I don't know if I agree with him taking this. Oh! He uses a forest fire. What? A f I shouldn't. Oops. A forest fire and the frost? Dude, I don't know if that was necessary. Spear is taut. Spear is dead, so no locust anytime soon. And no free fucking rockin' Petsukos to go instantly get a locust. God damn it, I hate that. Ugh. Anyways, the fort should go up, no problem. Shifting sands into the base. That's interesting. Okay. Grand Monsters had some peculiar shifting sands usages here. Trying to prevent the hill fort from going up. I don't think it's going to happen. There Actually, there are a lot of... Yeah, okay. Now that the hill fort's up, I think he should definitely retreat his army. Um, if the hill fort was still unbuilt he could maybe continue to fight with his like axes on the on the on the infantry and whatnot maybe and just try to avoid this frost giant but now that it's up yeah i think we should definitely retreat so do we see a market no market from grand monster no market no migdol so he went heroic and he's classical fighting <laughs> which is interesting Well, okay, um, okay, you know, considering the fact that he, he burned the forest in this, this little classical fight, I actually think it's interesting. Uh, Shadowfax does not have control of this TC anymore. Um, I mean, he did earlier, of course, there was no pressure from Grand Monster, but imagine if there were bogs. Oh, dude, uh, me goes the bogs vaigir. Anyways, the, the huskarls, why would you build huskarls? There we go. Get the Jarls out, dude. What are you doing, you weirdo? What are you doing? What's going on here? Like, it's like these players both just like pause, like, <sighs> holy shit. I don't like this fight anymore. The Jarls, medium cav, the nice group of TA behind. I don't like it. With so many farms, yeah, he is good. Two, four, six, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 18, 19, 20? I think it is. I think 20 farms or so. Is heroic. You can maybe drop that. Or yeah, they get that TC. Oof, oof, oof. Bogs Viger upgrade is bugged. What does that mean, Sigma? In the medium, like the medium heavy the line upgrades? What the fuck is Grand Monster doing? He's not dropping a market, although it'll you know, eventually he's gonna get there. What? He wasn't up through Hathor? Am I an idiot? Yes. Am I like what? No sh what the fuck? Why did I think he was heroic? What just happened? Did he not go heroic? He went heroic at 12 and a half minutes? Are you kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. So he builds. This is not a free rock, people. Expansion people. This is not a free rock. He built that rock. You little cheater. You cheater. Ori, if you're in, if you're trying to sneam. Oh, no, he's not. It only grants more hack damage, so the ups don't give it more attack, dude. That's so... Dude, Sigma, the beer effect. <laughs> dude, I'm only one and a half deep, dude. What are you talking about? Sigma. Having said that, dude, of course, the the one nice thing that Norse gets... Bogs Vikir. We get an archer finally, right? To the Lord. We finally get a box or an archer. And of course, the deathmatchers nerf them. Um, the, uh, the, the line upgrades don't even do the full effect. Fuck that, man. Of course, of course, Norse is going to get hosed. Of course, Norse is going to get hosed. This is interesting. We got some 2TC aggression here from Grand Monster. Okay. I don't know what I think about it. Elephant is nice. The camel is interesting. There's a good amount of army here from both players, especially Shadowfax with the throwing axemen, picking, doing a pretty good job picking off the dealy hoppers, the uh, axes picking off the axes. <coughs> Boyt told you they're useless? Dude, don't listen to Boyt. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He might have a big fancy YouTube channel, but Boyt does not know what the fuck he's talking about. <laughs> Boyd's a raw player. He has, he has, you know, privilege is invisible to those who have it. <laughs> raw elephants. I mean, raw does not get Thoth. So there's an argument there. Maybe that's what he was talking about. Thoth? Or he doesn't get Thoth elephants. You played against Boyd this morning? Dude, Matt, are you, uh, you playing some AOM? Have I, have I tickled your AOM pickle, dude? Dark. Alright, so no Locust yet, despite the rock, no Locust yet, which is really interesting. He said to go Horus Spears instead of Thoth. Dude, Horus Spears are motherfuckers, man. Horus Spears are motherfuckers. No, 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 no! Raw gets Thoth? Wait, does Raw get Thoth? Wait, who gets Thoth? Raw gets... Osai. I'm questioning everything now. What does Raw get? Raw does not get Elephants. Set gets it, right? Yeah, it's set in Isis. Isis gets Osiris, and... Mine a Japanese temple, yes. It's the new it's the new expansion, Heimdall. It's new AOM expansion in Japan. We got China, we got Japan coming. They're, you know, so I'm just hyping. He was playing around us. Ah, okay, dark. Gotcha. Gotcha. The Petsukos are gonna be nice against the fire, against the frost giants. Um, you know, the priest, the priest, uh, raw priest, not that strong, you know. So this is interesting. Or No Mercy has the three TC position with both of the forward uh, TCs. He is joking. Yes, yes. Just in case anybody didn't catch that, I'm joking. Thank you for clarifying, Kronk. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Um, no, the three TC position. I don't know if I like that. I I, I don't know if I like that because. Uh, yeah. Well. I think I might have preferred him to, well, I don't know, man, I don't know. Elephants are nice. Looks like Grand Monster might be taking this TC back, though. I mean, all of the army from No Mercy 
ist tot. Oh, for sure, Sigma, for sure. Oh, pfft. Dude, that shit's going down anyways. So, in fact, this is huge. This is huge, this is huge, this is huge. No Mercy lost the, arguably, the more secure TC. Because again, this one is right on the waterline. So if Grand Monster can come and take this TC, this game is prob- It's definitely going mythic. This game is definitely going mythic, right? There's no- There's like almost no question about it. I'll bet you a thousand dollars. No, I'm not betting a thousand dollars. No. But this game is- Unless No Mercy thinks like, Oh, I already lost, you know, and then he just resigns. But if the game continues on- Oh, 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 oh! Oh! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think that's ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oops. Wait, what? Well, let's say it's ten. Oh, ten. Ten bills. <laughs> it hurts. I mean, it is 17 and a half minutes. Oh, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, see? He just, he calls it. He calls it. He calls it. Grand Monster. Two to two, motherfuckers. We got a two to two. We got a full series here, boys. We got a full series here, boys. Cheers to that. Zebby, if you're out there, prost. A Gleed lost a Gleed going for that shadow, going for those shadow facts points. Tectonos too. Man, here's the big caveat here, you guys. Grand Monsters had two wins in a row. He's got the moment. Okay, wait, let's let's hang on. Let's let's com let's conclude this. This, um, let's conclude this game first. I think that maybe this third TC was maybe a little bit too early. I think dropping a second heal fort um, to help protect this forward TC might have been a little bit of a better decision. And of course, that's easy to say, you know, hindsight's 2020, but when your opponent stays on the two TCs, like it's, I mean, Grand Monster can't take another TC. He has to essentially fight for this one. It's unless he could go over and sneak this one, but whatever, we're not talking about that. Um, you got to be able to defend your position when you take the earlier TC the three TC a two TC push can be strong um, Again, we're talking about vanilla here people. We're talking about vanilla here um, So the two TC push can definitely be strong and you know, you could age up faster um, Who was it Sigma or whoever? Yeah, I was talking about mythic as a potential blah 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 you know, etc. So um, I think maybe delaying the third TC and going for um, a, another hill fort just to secure the um, secure his position a little bit better. I think I might have preferred that. I might have preferred that. Not sure. How can people play vanilla without Atlantean? It's the most okay. Heimdall. All right. Somebody, you know, cancel Heimdall. He's you know full troll mode. Back to your bridge, Heimdall. Not even. I mean, even with the with the class with the barracks units, Grand Monster still even having the positive KD. Nice play by him. With the eco, see that's this is the thing. I can't tell you. I can't tell you how many games I've played where I have. As the Norse player, I have such a better economy, but my military is just not strong enough. I can't tell you how many games I've been in that exact situation. I swear to God. All right, so choose prediction outcome. GM winning game numero FIA. <laughs> GM the best Nilla player ever. <laughs> Calmos amigos no basos. <laughs> I like your Spanish if that's what you're going for. Avagana. Avagana. Is Rappel an armchair gamer? No, Rappel is not an armchair gamer. Rappel's, Rappel's real shit. Rappel, we play in the next uh, in the next round, don't we? What am I drinking, bro? I'm drinking, a, a, again, a local brewery from where I live. They're called Squatters. It's called a Full Suspension Pale Ale. Honestly, it's not super hoppy. It's an IPA, but it's not super hoppy and bitter. It's dr it's a drinkable IPA. It's nice. I don't know. I mean, I think after three of these, I'd probably be like, okay, I'm going to get something different. But yeah, it's a nice and you like pale ales? Dude, yeah. Um, I used to maybe about five... Maybe about seven, six, seven, eight years ago, I actually didn't like pale ales at all. Um,
I have to pee. The longer the beard, the more wisdom you have. Yes. <laughs> um, yes, I need to go pee. So hang on just a second. But 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 anyways, yeah. It's it's like the pale elves are like pale elves are like really drinkable IPAs, right? Jesus, can we ban Rob? <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> Uh, okay, hang on. I gotta go pee. I gotta go pee. I gotta go pee. Be right back, everybody. Let's go back to that good song. We'll go back to that good song. Oh, it'll come up here in just a few seconds. Okay. Man, I really gotta pee. Okay, be right back. Be right back. Enjoy this. It was so good. Sorry, it was so good. Zeus against Ra on Oasis for the final game. Do we have a veto here? We have a veto. Okay, we have a veto. We have a veto, people. We have a veto. I'm out, buddy. I need another one. This song is so good.
All right, we got boom grand monster in the blue playing Ra. Over here in the red, we have Shadowfax going back to Zeus. So for the final game five, grand monster against No Mercy, Zeus against Ra on Oasis, no less. On paper, it's an advantage for grand monster, right? Um, low hunt the vanilla just so that everybody knows the vanilla oasis map is oh shit that's right a prediction sorry two minutes two minutes two minutes two minutes two minutes prediction 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 sorry 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 thank you for reminding me i believe thank you for reminding me okay here we go Yes, 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 Heimdall, you're correct. Two special shots from a centaur kills a villager. You're right for, yes, you're right. Anyways, okay, so here we go, people. Um, on paper, it's an advantage for Grand Monster, right? Ra is definitely... <sighs> Are we really gonna keep doing the intro over and over again? We're gonna do the intro again. I'm putting this on YouTube. Redo the poll. <laughs> I'm putting it on YouTube. We want the production value, guys. We want the production value. No, oh, it's not gonna play again. Damn it. Okay, and all the production value just down the drain. All right, so Grand Monster over here in the blue, over here in the blue playing raw back on to raw only one veto right yep and so they've switched sides so shadow facts moving over to the right side of the bottom right side of the map he is playing zeus so we got once again everybody we got raw against zeus on oasis for the final so so let's go look at the uh, gold mine okay so the gold mine of grand monster <coughs> the raw player forward gold mine no bueno in that regard in that regard doing a little bit of scouting with this fair to see where his um additional gold mines are this is the thing this is the thing on paper everybody says that Ra is good on oasis on paper because it's a low hunt map this is vanilla so it's really low hunt um you know the the expansions definitely have jacked up the uh <laughs> The expanses, expansions have definitely jacked up the number of the amount of hunt um, and whatnot on Oasis. Anyways, so um, so yeah, it's like, oh my God, are you serious? If the Catascopa Scout picks off the Pharaoh, this is gonna be ridiculous. Are you kidding me? Mortal Kombat, baby! Mortal Kombat! Yes, that's incorrect. Shadowfax is losing the, uh, goats, etc. This is ridiculous. Are you serious? And he runs away! Oh! Oh! All right. Whatever. Anyway, so, so okay, so what was I talking about? So the raw player, raw on Oasis on paper, is better because he can fast farm. You can fast farm as raw. No problem. It doesn't matter that it's low hunt. It doesn't matter, right? But the big, big old butt, the big BBL, the big butt is gold mine placement. You are still sus you are still susceptible to being gold getting gold starved on um, on your second gold mine. So having said that, this is not the worst gold mine, second gold mine. It's not the best gold mine, second gold mine, right? It's pretty close to his TC, but it is on the opposite side of this forest and kind of open-ish. There's um, hyenas here, that makes it a little bit awkward depending on where your villagers are going, blah blah blah, yada yada yo, a little bit awkward, not too shabby. Now, um, okay, so TC placement, right, TC placement. Um, the bottom, bottom part of the map is going to be crucial for Grand Monster. Again, gold mine, TC, gold mine tc so the bottom part of the map is going to be crucial for grand monster i'm even going to say that the bottom corner for grand monster is also going to be crucial let me tell you why because of a trade route again trade route is going to be super crucial for the raw player for the egyptian player so if he trades in this bottom corner he can trade with this tc over here 
great trade route, pretty great trade route. But um, on top of that, if he secures that, am I saying right? He's if he's securing the bottom like this part, this whole half of the map, then you know his TC is going to be secure. The gold mine, the trade route, another gold mine, TC, blah blah blah, etc. Right? So that's that's going to be, in my opinion, it seems like that's going to be the ideal for Grand Monster is to secure this bottom side of the map. If he can do so, additionally, if he can do so, there is a TC right fucking here. Right here. Something had to hurt and I'm not sure what it was. Okay, I don't know what the hell these guys are talking about, but you know, they're having a good time. That's most important. Anyway, so this is gonna be pretty crucial for Grand Monster to eventually secure. A trade route, which helps secure his TCs, which allows him to also get an attack on the TC. On the contrary, on the flip side, Shadowfax getting a TC here if he secures this, you know, some walls and whatnot. If, oh, there we go. Walling up this side of the map already. Voila, just like that. Okay, so looks like Grand Monster's gonna look to go for the top side of the map. Okay, well, I guess that's that's answered right away. Um, anyways, you guys, voila, exactly. You guys get what I'm get what I'm saying here, right? Let's see how the map sh or how the game shapes up shapes up. Though. Let's see how the game shapes up. Looks like we're gonna see some ta action going on right now <coughs> let me drink my snickle fritz and then go get another Woo. Sh what okay so advancing through hermes for shadow facts no surprise there fourth beer incoming <laughs> is that fourth no that's third no that's third that's third for me this was number number two. There's the next. I have a pack. It's like a little power pack. It's a power pack. There's the full suspension PLLs. There's a, he a line. Uh, there's three PLLs, three hefts, three German pilsners called beer, which is hilarious. And then I can't remember what the fourth one is. The golden tail one. The golden tail one. So that's nice. I'll go for. I've done golden tail so far. PLL next. We're going for. The Hef next. Yesterday we did the, he the beer, the German monster. Why did Grand Monster go out here to his zebras? I guess because his ghosts were pretty much gone. Is that what the three barracks? Okay, interesting. Omer Baba, thanks for the follow. Oh, hey, French, okay, okay. I missed your follow. Thanks, man. That was a long time ago. Sorry, sorry I missed that. But French, okay, okay. <laughs> you have a funny name, but thanks for the follow, man. And uh, what was the Omer Baba? Nice, uh, yeah, thanks for the follows, guys. Much appreciated. I need to go. Okay, so we got a classical fight coming up. I'm gonna run and grab a hef. We got the heroes coming over. Oh, 111. We got some 111 business. That's interesting. This is more TT style shit right here. 111, man, 111. All right, so I'm gonna leave my screen right here, and I'm also going to run and odysseus can range the gold mine are you kidding me plus the talks oh my god are you kidding me he's gonna have to rebuild his thingy yeah there he goes i didn't even notice that i saw the tower there are you serious i saw the towers there i was like oh it's a forward gold mine but no problemo right problemo odysseus can range that shit tears fall like hey tears man thanks for the follow dude I hope, uh, I think it was yesterday that I gave you a little raid. Um, I hope the, I'm not going to be able to go get a beer. This is great. Look at this. We got a little hop tox rush here. Are you kidding me? Is Grand Monster going to get gold star? If he's going for spears, dude, are you serious? No way. The priest is going to die. Oh my. You got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. Is this going to be it? Shut up. If the temple goes down, bro, he's going to be in some trouble. He's going to be in some serious trouble. He also has four talks plus the Odysseus right now. They are going to shred the spears and axes. You got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. Temple's going down, gentlemen. Temple's going down. And look at the talks. They're going to shred. They're going to shred. The Pharaoh's even going to go down. He does! Shifting sands to the back of the base. 
little bit of damage on the heroes and whatnot. That's nice. I don't think like any of the, he can maybe pick off like the, the, one of the units or whatever, but whoa, 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 whoa. Does that, I mean, wall that shit up or something? What are you gonna do, Grand Monster? Okay, some bullshit going on right here. Okay. Wow, this is not how I thought the game was going to shape up. I can't go get beer. I can't go get beer. Teddy, I need beer. <laughs> Hold your horses, Avagana. Hold your fucking horses. Well, um, yeah, sorry, tears. I was gonna say, I was I told everybody to wish you a happy game, good luck, have fun, that sort of thing. So I hope they were cordial. I hope the I hope the viewers were good. Let's <laughs> go, oh, dude. Centaurs. How many does he have on favor? Two on favor. A decent amount on wood. A couple more on wood. We could see a bunch of centaurs here. Blue lost so many units, it's GG. Just hold your horses there, Heimdall. Hold your fucking horses. Okay. Upgraded centaurs. Priest going down. The pharaoh also died. So these centaurs are going to clean up, dude. Couple of slingers out. Gotta micro those motherfuckers. Fighting within range of that one tower. This is big shit. Looks like Grand Monster has survived for now. Yeah, dude, Tectonos, he's throwing the f kitchen fucking sink at, uh, at, uh, what's his bucket, uh, Grand Monster. Ooh, even Medium Slingers, interesting. A bolt on the Pharaoh to keep his centaur safe. One of them's half, two-thirds of the way dead. The other one, you can see his little body. You can see his corpse right there. Look at that guy. Dead. Neat. All right. Still a couple of slingers, couple of slingers. Got us. I mean, another centaur coming over. This is crazy. Does he have skin of the rhino? He does. So those villagers are like little, 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 uh, little, little military units. Are you kidding me? Centaur's almost dead. This is a great final. Are you kidding me? Right. Man, oh man. The gold mine is out. Where's this other gold? This is other this is his other gold, no question. Are you kidding me? It's uh, it uh, can he survive? Can he survive? Is there an app to remove the are you kidding me? No! You gotta be kidding me. Priest is dead, so those centaurs are gonna live forever. That one's almost dead. A third one there, plus Odysseus. This is, this, this might be GG, people. I think this is it. I think this is it. Look at all the units going down. The heroes, the centaurs, you gotta be kidding me. They're gonna, f no, no, <laughs> no, not like this, not like this. <laughs> <laughs> Pull the boys, he calls it what a finish. No time for beer. No time for beer. Wow. Wow. He says he wished he didn't veto the last one. Wow. Grand Monster. Almost, almost, almost with the reverse sweep. Coming back from 2-0. The forward gold mine fucks him over. Whoa, points please. Uh, Kane Corso, dude, Kane Corsos are cool dogs, man. They're cool dogs. I think every time you've showed up in chat, man, I think I've said that. <laughs> so no mercy takes it. Three, two, two. Good luck, rest around you two. See you, good night, good night. Man, man, oh man, oh man.
man oh man so shadowfax takes it and moves on grand monster is bumped down to the loser's bracket oof what a final game the forward gold mine and the hoplites the hoplites to take out the temple the hoplites wow man congrats to grand <laughs> well congrats to both players i mean this was a semi-final game right so congrats to both players for getting this far grand monster beating shenanigans in a really great um series and then you know man what a series i can't believe it all five games motherfuckers all five games that's what we want as viewers that's what i want as a viewer let's check the uh let's check kd and whatnot real quick all right so maybe the kd isn't all too important considering you know grand monster sent out his villagers after that thank you for the follow iron isera if that's, that's how you say your name isera let's check the eco dare we dare we check the eco ah. <laughs> Man. What a game, people. What a game. 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 What a finish. What a finish, man. That is not how I expected it to finish. Man. Wow.